much. Oh yo, what's up guys? Um, wanted to come at you today with a super quick video. A video that I get a lot of questions about a lot of the time. Sorry, I'm in a hotel room. Long story, we can get to that later. But, people always ask about what camera I use, my equipment, blah 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 blah. Aside from the fact that it doesn't matter, I would still like to show you because I'm curious about what cameras other creators use too, so I totally understand. So today I'm gonna be doing a what's in my camera bag video about my camera bag. Let's get into it. This is my camera bag. It is probably 30 pounds right now. It's heavy, it's always heavy, but I carry a lot of stuff. This is a Campus Bay bag by Ona. It's like waxed canvas, um, really nice, I love it. It's a beautiful bag, big, lot of room. You have this whole upper compartment up here that you can do non-camera gear in. What I use mostly is this front part, which folds down and all of my gear is in here. So let's get into it. In no particular order, here we go. We're just gonna start grabbing out of the grab bag. First of all, when you're flying, you have to have noise canceling head phones. Also, they're great for editing. When you're editing in busy places, you need to block out all the haters. I have these Sonys. They are absolutely phenomenal. I love, love, love these headphones. They are so incredibly good. They are so incredibly quiet. Battery lasts forever. I'll try to put the name of it in the description because I just cannot think of it right now, but these are my favorite headphones ever and probably some of the best on the market. So, noise canceling headphones. Nextly, four terabyte hard drive. Very important, uh, this is a Lacy, Lacy, whatever you call it. This is a uh, Thunderbolt port, I believe that's called. Four terabytes, for those of you who don't know, a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes, so that is 4,000 gigabytes worth of memory, of which I probably have over three and a half filled up. So over three and a half thousand gigs worth of footage on here right now. This is what I work off of. Don't store videos on your computer, store them on a hard drive or else your computer will fill up. There's a pro tip. Four terabyte hard drive. Next, boom, Pelican memory card case. Always carry extra memory cards you will fill them up you will run out of space so always have extra memory cards keep them organized by carrying them in a case because they're very small you will lose memory cards you will lose memory cards next super important extra battery life your phone always dies your phone will always die so I always always, always carry extra battery. This will charge my iPhone four times. It has three USB slots on it so I can charge other friends' phones. This is a beast, it's an insignia. Um, this is a must have item in any bag is extra battery. And I'm serious, so I have another one. This is just some random brand called Pocket Juice. This will charge your iPhone one time, very small. So if I'm on the go and I don't have my backpack or I don't have anything to store this big guy in, I'll just bring this for a one time iPhone charge. I used to carry a third, but Spencer Taylor stole it. Spencer, if you're watching this, I want my battery tack back. Extra battery, muy importante. Uh, next, another lens that I use. This is a Sony 10 to 18 f.4. I really like wide lenses. It's small, so it's not a big deal to carry. I mean, you can see here, super fun lens. Boom, nextly, Metabone speed adapter. Mackenzie shoots on a Canon, so sometimes I like to use her 50 millimeter for my Sony. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Sony and Canon and do not have the same lens sizes, so you need to adapt to the different size. So this will fit a Sony, and then this will fit a Canon lens. Sometimes you'll need it. you rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Nextly, GoPro. GoPro Hero 5, standard. You should have a GoPro. You always should have a GoPro. I usually carry different attachments with me. I don't think I have any in this bag right now, which is, you know, a problem. Always have a GoPro. I think any GoPro Pass 4s, so 5 or 6s, are amazing. Super user-friendly. Every video Photographer, filmmaker should have a GoPro because you just don't know when you're gonna need one and you don't know what you're gonna need it for. Next, another lens. This is a Sony 24 to 70 f4. This is an amazing lens. It is the first lens that I ever had. I like the 24 to 70 because 70 is a good amount of zoom. It, it gives a decent zoom lens feel. I, I like this because of the dynamic as well. It's really easy to rack in on something. It can sometimes give a comedic feel. Moving forward, batteries. I keep them in a plastic bag. GoPro and Sony batteries. Usually I have three GoPro batteries and at least five Sony batteries at all times. I keep them in a plastic bag so they're not jumbling around in my camera bag. Next, the big kahuna, the big mama. Yes, I carry a full stabilizer in my bag. It'll look like this, the handle. 
which will go right there so that I can balance my camera on there. I carry this with me basically wherever I go because stable footage is the best footage. This is a Fiutech A2000. Um, they sent that over to me, shout out to them. It's a great gimbal. It's small enough to put in my backpack. So I always try to carry that with me wherever I go because you just don't know when you're gonna need to take the footage to the next level. Next, camera strap. Sometimes you just don't have enough hands to hold your camera or sometimes I only wanna film a little bit, but I want to bring my camera for the whole day. So I'll just throw it around my shoulder. This is a uh, Joby. It's a center mount. It mounts to the bottom instead of on the straps on either side of your camera. Um, I think this is kind of cool because it hangs a little bit better. Nextly, we'll get to the top. The editing machine right here. Brand new MacBook Pro 15 inch beast of a computer. So I just recently upgraded to that bad boy. Could have bought a used car. Bought a laptop instead. Charger, charging cable for that as well as adapter to plug in my hard drive that I showed you earlier. There's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. iPhone cable, brick to plug into the wall. Another brick, headphones, another iPhone cable, micro USB cable, another micro USB, USB 3.0 cable, USB C cable, lens cleaning cloth, another iPhone cable, another iPhone cable. Breath mints, a AAA battery. Oh wait, hold on, pause. Something else that's always in my camera bag when I'm not filming. Here, I'm using it, so I have to, I'm gonna have to video on this. Here is this, this is a Sony A7S Mark II with a uh, G series 16 to 35 2.8. This is a Sennheiser MKE 400. The furry thing fell off, so there's bad wind noise. As well as we have the little tripod here. This is a Joby tripod head attached to Movo tripod legs. And so that is sitting just like that, doing all of the filming for this video. And here's the aftermath. Okay, so now you've truly seen it all. That is what is in my camera bag, as well as there's usually a drone. So I usually always have a DJI Mavic Pro with me as well. There's a lot of stuff. I just realized I have a lot of stuff and I carry a lot of stuff. So now you know what I use, now you know how I use it, now you know where I keep it. I'm gonna go because I have to repack all of this stuff back into this backpack and I have to get the hell out of this hotel room because checkout is in six minutes. Dope. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I love each and every one of you who are watching my videos all the time. If you haven't already liked the video, comment below what you think I should do more of, less of, or continue doing. Make sure you subscribe, but also turn on post notifications because YouTube isn't really notifying people when I make videos. So at least you should have a better chance of getting notified when I do make a video. Uh, and again, subscribe because it's only getting better, guys. Take it easy. Peace.